Hey guys, Sonny Bryson here, and today we're gonna to talk about exactly how do you know you're on your path and on your way to go out there and build wealth? Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you seven ways that you would actually know that you're actually on your way and on your path, okay? Seven things to see that, hey, I'm actually working towards this, I'm actually building this. And by the way, if I'm being honest here, I have not yet reached all seven of these things, but it's something to shoot for, right? And if you don't know what to shoot for, how are you supposed to know that you're making progress? The answer is you won't know. So take these seven things, screenshot them, write them down, do whatever you want. I don't care, right? But overall, just keep them in your mind. And remember, hey, I'm working towards this, 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 this right here. And I'm working towards building real wealth, which by the way, is not just money, although money is also a big part of it. Now, if you guys are new here, I post videos every single day, so you should also subscribe and hit the bullshit notified. And on top of that, also destroy the like button. Now, the very first thing, guys, is this, okay? When you wanna become wealthy, the big portion of it is going to be passive income because earning money is, hey, I have a job, I worked, I got paid money. Passive income is, hey, I have a job, I got paid money, I invest that money, and now that money pays me money without me having to go out there and work. Passive income is very important, okay? And by the way, I never plan on retiring, but it's great knowing that, hey, I'm working towards building passive income, so if I don't wanna work anymore, I don't have to, right? That's a great choice. I don't like the idea, hey, I can never quit my job because if I quit now, I lose everything and I can't retire, right? That's not what you want either. So overall, number one is going to be working towards passive income. So if you're doing that right now, you're making progress, then great. And by the way, my overall goal is that I wanna to get to a point when my portfolio, my stock portfolio, if I take out 4%, is going to equal my expenses for the year. So for me, that's around $48,000, meaning I need to have a portfolio size around $1.2 million. It's gonna take a while to get there, but step by step, I'm gonna get there. That's the overall idea. Building passive income is going to be very important. By the way, you don't need all that money, but however, if you don't wanna say, for example, hey, I wanna make 1K in passive income from real estate or whatever with that 1K per month and grab that money and say, hey, you know what? I'll take a pay cut, but I go work a job that I actually wanna work and I'm actually happy doing, okay? It gives you more freedom. Passive income is key. Now, number two, guys, is you can be more selective when it comes to, for example, who you work with and also who you hang around with. Now, when you have a job, for example, like I did at the college, at the Gap, at, for example, New York Sports Club or any other company out there, I couldn't choose who I work with, right? Because the reality, if they were lazy, if they were rude, if they were mean to me, whatever they were, I couldn't change that. All I could do was try to ignore those people. But when you're building wealth, you can choose not to work with people you don't wanna work with. Because basically, you don't have to work a job you don't wanna work. And to me, that is awesome. It's a great feeling, okay? And by the way, I've had jobs, guys, okay? when people were just not doing their jobs, had to do it for them and all that stuff. Yes, you can talk to your job, your boss about it, but if they're gonna get fired, it's gonna stay the same, okay? It's just like that sometimes, okay? It's all your environment. But having more freedom to who you work with is awesome. And for me, guys, I don't work with anyone I don't like. If I don't like you, then what's the point of working with you? It's gonna be so hard and so difficult, so might as well not even do that. But having the freedom to do that is gonna be an awesome thing. And by the way, I do have that freedom right now, and I'm also working towards passive income. now. Number three, guys, is doing this is an option, but it's not a limitation. Now, what does that mean? It means, for example, you have been invited, for example, to a party or a restaurant or a vacation where everyone like puts money together, and you're like, nah, I can't do that because I don't have the money for it. However, it's a big difference from saying, for example, hey, I don't want to do that. Although I have the money, I just don't want to do it. You know, it's a difference when you say, hey, I can't go to that restaurant, I can't do this, I can't do that, right? But if you say, hey, I don't wanna do it, it's different. Build the wealth means, hey, I can choose to do what I wanna do based on what I wanna do, right? If I don't wanna do this, I don't have to do it because I have money to do it, but I just don't wanna do it. By the way, one person I admire a lot for this is Warren Buffett. The guy has run $90 billion, but yet to this day, he lives in the same house, the same car, the same lifestyle. Why? Because basically, he does exactly what he wants to do. Although, he could go out there and buy, for example, 50 Lamborghinis, 50 Bugattis, whatever he wants to, 20 houses, whatever it is out there, but he chooses not to because basically, he gets the choice to do what he wants, although he's not limited not to do those things. There's a big difference there, okay, guys? Big, big difference. Now, number four, guys, 
it's going to be, you don't have to say yes. You know, if you ever had a boss and the idea is that they tell you, hey, you want to do overtime or you want to do this? And you're like, uh, no, no, you don't say no. You say, okay, I'll do it. Because most likely you're going to be like, okay, if you're not going to do it, I'll find somebody else, right? You have to do what they say, you know? And that's the whole idea there. So having more wealth means, for example, you get to say no when you want to say no. And by the way, I'm very strong on this, okay, guys? I have two rules. I don't buy anyone alcohol or, for example, I don't see something wrong and I basically do it for that person, right? And on top of that, thirdly, I don't buy people lottery tickets. Now, by the way, when I worked at a company, at the college, for example, right, I had a boss. I can't say her name, obviously, but this boss was not the nicest person ever. And she would say, Tommy, go um, to Dunkin' Donuts, get me a coffee, let me lottery tickets over here. And I had to do that, right? I didn't have the option to say no because I didn't want to get fired, right? That's the whole idea. And by the way, even if you don't get fired, they'll make your life miserable. So I had to go out of my way and say, hey, I'll buy this lottery ticket, although I know it's not what I'm in line with. I'll buy you this coffee, although I see you already have a health problem. And it wasn't like a regular coffee. It was like coffee with a bunch of sugar and all this stuff. It's not even none of your business, but it is my business if you're asking me to basically buy it for you. You know what I mean? That's the whole idea. So being like having more wealth means saying, I don't have to say yes to everything you want me to. I can say no. If you don't like me, you want to fire me, whatever. I'm fine with that. But I don't have to go against what I actually want to do. And sometimes it can go even deeper than that. When you have, for example, a female that's to say yes, for example, to whatever the boss says, and it can be very weird at that point, and it just gives you more freedom to know, hey, I can just do and say whatever I want to say and just basically agree to whatever I want to agree to, right? It's a lot of freedom. Now, number five, guys, is basically you don't pee yourself when you think about getting fired or losing, for example, your company. Why? Because basically, you know, hey, I have an emergency account, I have passive income, I have investments, so even if I get fired here or I lose this job or whatever it is, I'm going to be just fine. And that's awesome. Knowing that you're working because you want to. Knowing that it doesn't matter if anything fails, you're going to be just good to go, right? And I'm still working towards this, okay? Right now, currently, I only have six months for emergencies, which is great, but I'm also building more passive income. So if anything does happen, I can say, hey, everything's fine. I can keep working towards what I want to, and I don't have to worry about it, and I don't have to pee my pants, okay? Because that's never a good thing. Now, number six, guys, is you have people that love you. Now, number six, guys, is basically you have people that love you. Now, why is this here? Because basically, wealth is great. All this stuff is great, but there's also wealth and having people around you that actually care about you and are not just with you. It's basically they want your money or they get benefits from you, right? That's not what you want either. You know, it's an awesome feeling when you can say, hey, these people around me, although it might not be a lot, they actually care about me and it's not a money thing. And by the way, I don't want to be the guy at the funeral with a lot of money, but no one has anything nice to say about me, okay? That's not what I want for myself whatsoever. And at the end of the day, life is all about making connections and having people that care about you and you care about them, okay? I don't want to be, oh my gosh, I'm so wealthy, but I don't have a real friend, a real loved one, no one cares about me, that's not what you want. By the way, I'm not saying keep bad people around you because they care about you. You know what I'm saying? You got to build relationships and people that actually care about you and love you, although those people are also very good for you. You got to work on that also. And last, number seven is you have good health. Health is wealth. I will always say that, right? And obesity, diseases, those things are not cool. And although, for example, some things are genetic, I get that, I understand that. A lot of things are out there preventable just by going to the gym and managing what you actually eat. So respect your body. It's just one machine. If you don't take care of it, you're going to lose it. But guys, overall, these are seven things, okay, that show you, hey, you are on the right path towards building wealth. The seven signs of actually going out there and accomplishing true wealth, okay? Now, hopefully this video helped you and gave you something to actually shoot for. I'll see you guys next time. As always, by the way, if you missed anything, if I missed anything, comment down below, let me know. So I can see exactly like, hey, you missed this one, Tommy, or this one right here. I'm going to make another video about it. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. As always, like, subscribe, hit the bell, get notified. If you want to see more of me, I actually post videos every single day also on my third channel called the Accident Bryson, where I actually take calls from you guys directly. Link down below. All calls are free, and I call you from Monday to Friday. On top of that, I also post videos every single day on the Time Bryson Show channel, where I react to things out there. Also, link down below. If you want to DM me, well, DM me on Instagram at Time Bryson. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching, and as always, peace.